Hello everyone. Want to know tips to crack InfiTQ 2022? Let's crack it. I know you all very well aware of InfiTQ syllabus, but still, let's look at the syllabus and test pattern. The first round is a qualifying round, which basically tests your Python or Java aptitude and DBMS skills. And this exam is going to be conducted on 2nd and 3rd April 2021. Remember, for this qualifying round, the test pattern is You'll be given 40 questions and you need to answer them within 60 minutes with no sectional timings. In these 40 questions, you will get 10 aptitude questions, 10 DBMS questions and 20 Java or Python questions based on your choice of stream. All of which are MCQs and MAQs. For each correct answer, you will be awarded plus one mark. For negative answer, you will be rewarded with 0.25 negative marks. So what happens if you select this round? If you are selected in this round, you will get a chance to attend Infosys InfiTQ certification exam. This certification exam consists of 30 MCQs in which 20 are Python or Java and 10 are DBMS and two hands-on questions on Python or Java based on your choice of stream. There is no negative marking in this round. If you score 65% or above in this round, you will become an Infosys certified software programmer. You will also receive an opportunity to appear in a behavioral interview for the systems engineer role at Infosys. If you clear the interview, you also get an advantage test, which is a kind of upgrade test for higher roles at Infosys, such as Power Programmer, 8 lakhs per annum, and Systems Engineer Specialist, 5 lakhs per annum. Here are the five tips for you. Tip number one, start preparing with your strengths first. If you are good at Python or Java, start practicing with it. Or if you are good at aptitude, start with it or DBMS. And then focus on weaknesses. Tip number two, practice each and every concept thoroughly. Never miss a single concept which you feel difficult. Majorly, don't miss concepts such as OOPs, SQL queries, data structures, etc. If you feel a concept difficult, please take help from your friends and teachers that will help you a lot. Tip number three, how to practice. Set a countdown for yourself like 40 minutes and take 40 MCQs similar to this pattern and answer them wisely. In this way, you can reduce the time utilization and you'll make less mistakes in the main exam. And also try to read every question as fast as you can because every time you are reading, the clock is ticking like anything. I am not saying you should really bother about time, but you need to be careful while reading and answering each question. Manage your time wisely. Python or Java, 30 minutes. DBMS, 15 minutes. Aptitude, 15 minutes. This is how I divided my 60 minutes for the qualifying round. Remember that the times are overall not necessarily continuous time slot. Tip number four, follow PPP. Practice previous year's problems. Observe the bits which are repeatedly given in previous year's papers. Make sure you practice those concepts perfectly. During the exam, if you are stuck at some question, please skip it immediately and come back after some time. This technique will definitely help you a lot. Tip number five, form a group with your friends and discuss the questions in which you have doubts. Make sure the group consists of four people who are aware of any of the following Python, Java, DBMS and aptitude concepts. Here comes the bonus tip. Prepare the following concepts thoroughly. Coming to Python or Java, oops concepts such as abstraction, polymorphism, encapsulation, inheritance, etc. Understanding classes and methods is important. Exceptional handling is also important. Data structures and algorithms. Especially finding the data structure or algorithm implemented in the question. Coming to DBMS, queries on keywords such as select, where, unique, between, in, and aggregate functions, etc. Different types of keys types of normalizations, different types of joins, inner join, outer join, left inner join, left outer join. Let's crack the exam. All the best for your future. That's all for this video. If you like the video, do subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. Thank you.